Dr. Andrew Kolodny is an expert on the opioid crisis in the U.S. He's also the executive director of Physicians for Responsible Opioid Prescribing, an organization focused on reducing the impact of the overprescription of opioids. Every year for more than 20 years, we've set a record for death from opioid overdose in the U.S., and then the next year we break that record. It just has kept getting worse. To date in China, no cases of the wild-scale abuse of fentanyl have ever been uncovered. But in America, it's a different story. The overprescription of medical opioids is exactly where its opioid addiction started. The reason we saw this enormous increase in addiction and overdose deaths is because about 25 years ago, a campaign was launched in the U.S. to change the way the medical community thought about prescription opioids. This multifaceted campaign which resulted in doctors hearing from many different directions that we haven't prescribed enough opioids, that patients are suffering needlessly, that opioids are a gift from Mother Nature, and that real addiction to opioids is very rare, so that we should prescribe more. That was the campaign that changed prescribing practices. It was marketing and advertising disguised as education and advocacy. And behind all of this was a desire for profits by, by pharmaceutical companies. On how the U.S. needs to tackle the drug issue, Ethan Naderman, an expert on drug policy and founder of Drug Policy Alliance, has said in his podcast that trying to focus on the supply side is essentially a fool's errand because so long there's demand, there will be a supply. And when it comes to precursors, Underground chemists can be incredibly resourceful in identifying alternative chemicals and coming up with alternative ways of making these drugs. I do think that the, there's much more the United States government could be doing to reduce these deaths. We could prevent opioid addiction in the United States if we see that opioids are prescribed more cautiously. But for the millions of Americans who are already addicted, we have to see that they have better access to treatment. 